this is where my life belongs. All right, so today we want to look on some SBA concepts. So we want to look on what is a primary letter, secondary letter, and a merge letter. So let's get into it. So first thing we're going to look on is a primary letter. Your primary letter is basically your blank canvas. It's the letter that you plan to send to multiple persons. And if you don't know, mail merges use when it is that you want to send basically one generic document to multiple persons and instead of you editing the one document over and over you use the mail merge feature all right so let me insert date so I am going to write a letter to the parents informing them of when it is that I have my zoom classes um, so here I'm going to put the date and, and this is a feature now it allows depending on how you set it up it changes automatically so if I select July 3rd and when I open it tomorrow if I select update automatically automatically change to um, April 4th all right so that's what I'm going to do so let's write our blank canvas so it would be dear and I'm not going to put anything I'm just going to write the body of the letter So now close yours respectfully. Mm, leave a space there. Oh, because I'm not going to sign, I don't need to. Yes, James. So here I have my letter so this now I would save as my primary letter it is my blank canvas good moving on to the secondary letter six e marks for procedure not necessarily for data for information it's just to show that you know how to do a particular thing in word so when it is that you're doing the mail merge you need to show the different procedures or you need to show the different steps that you would have taken so that is why this would be saved as your primary letter 
when it is that we are to do the secondary letter, the secondary letter would be just your merge. All right, let me save this. Once it is that we are ready for the secondary letter part, what we are going to do, we are going to go to mailings and we are going to do select recipients. Now, if you have a list that is typed already, then you will use that list. But because I don't, I am going to go type a new list and this now will be called your data source. So here we have um, a few field names and I don't need all of that. So what I'm going to do, customize columns. So I'm going to need title, so Mr. Mrs. First name, last name. I don't need company name, so I'm going to delete that. Um, address line one, address line two. I don't need city. And I don't need state. I don't need zip code. I am going to rename country or region. I am just going to have that as parish. Okay. I'm going to have that as parish. I don't need these three. But I'm going to rename the last one for son's name based on how I have this laid out. So rename this part for student name. Alright, so I'm going to enter 5 or 4 data just for you to see what I am doing. So I'm going to go to OK. Alright, and we're just going to use three for our example right now. So after that, you're going to select OK. OK, select OK, and it's going to ask you to save it as a data source. So for the persons doing this as an SEA, if you don't change the folder name right here, it's going to save, it will be saved in a folder called data source on your computer. So change up where it is that you are saving that so i'm going to have this as parent list and save all right so now that we have or here if we want to make any changes to our recipient we can do that from here but we don't so we're going to create our secondary letter now so what we do is that we insert the merge fields all right so how is it that we want the letter to lay out so normally you have your address block style your address the date followed by the address of the recipient so that's what we're going to have address line one so we go to insert merge field enter and i want address line two followed by the parish the neighborhood dog i'm mean, yes. all right and then after right at there here I want to include the person's name so I'm going to have title space followed by the first name space and last name. I have to space after because it's going to join up if you don't. 
So we have title, first name, last name. And down here where I have student name, I'm going to take this out and insert student name. And right here where I have parent name, I'm going to insert the title and last name. All right. So once it is that we have done this, or you have done this part, then you save this now as secondary letter. And that's where our save and save has come into play. When you select save, it updates the document. When you select save as, it creates a new document. So, if you have your primary letter and you open it and you never save it, before you go select save, it will write over everything. But it's not the end of the world. You just take out the merge fields and save it over. We go save as documents. And we're going to save this now as secondary letter. Secondary letter. Good. So once this is finished now, let us check how it is that our letter is going to look. So we're going to select preview. All right, so this is the layout. So we have address there, address. So we have the person name. Come down here so as such John Doe good Mrs. Beckham good right there so we know that our letter is looking the way it is supposed to look so we finish the merge now and that is how we save our third document which is our merged letter so you go to finish and merge edit individual documents and select all or you can select the pages that you want to do I'm going to select all and this is going to give you a new document now with all your letters. Let me maximize. Alright, good. So notice we had three persons in or... Oh, let me go back and do something. Because what it is that I had, I had this page at the bottom here. So let me take out this blank page at the bottom. And then do that process all over again. So we have one. What is this saying? One of two. Oh. Yeah, okay. Ready now. One of one. Alright, so good. So we go to finish and merge, edit individual documents, select all, and OK. Good. This now is our merge letter because it's going to have the letters for everyone in there. So remember, we had up here for Simone Beckham scrolling down you will see one now for Orin Isaacs you have one now for Julia Thompson and that now so when we are finished with this one we would save this now save as same place we received the others and this is going to be your merged letter or whatever is on your SBA paper to save it as and that's how you would do those documents in Microsoft Word. Hope that was informative. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Hope you guys are staying safe.